hey hi all welcome to my channel so there was a very great response for my previous video that is create xsd within 20 seconds so i thought i'll create one more uh, two that is more generic more useful for you know many number of people create xml within 20 seconds xml both for regular eib or uh, document transformation which is dt with xtt and etv so um, i'm going to give away the tool and uh, and let's get started so um, i have created many integrations uh, especially using uh, eib and document transformation EAB, the xslt within the eib and xslt uh, using document transformation. So uh, I just want to tell you one thing right? I tend to use document transformation over XSLT within the integration itself, EIB itself. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, that topic is for a differentiation. So uh, I always spent significant number of hours to create XSLTs. So because especially if there are number of fields are very huge, let's just say there are you know 30 40 fields or 50 fields just to copy the text the the you know xml alias uh, somewhere to here and uh, that that stuff itself takes too much time so i thought i'll create a tool which uh, you know which will do heavy lifting for us and then rest of the things we can do within you know half an hour or so that that's the uh, the whole idea right so uh, as the slide says i am going to show you the tool which creates XSLT code within 20 seconds. So these are the topics I'm going to cover today in this uh, video. I'm going to show you uh, one with only five columns. This is for demonstration purposes and with 100 around 100 columns. That is for three minute challenge. Uh, I'm going to show you that, right? This is the first thing is um, how to use the tool. I'm going to cover that and uh, demonstrate how the uh, you know how to create this uh, xslt within 20 seconds and then i want to show you that the output will have the length starting position ending position and field name within the uh, comments so that will be very helpful especially uh, maintenance if you are into the maintenance and all these things it will be very helpful then how to plug into the eib or document transformation and all these things i'm going to show you that demo uh, not into the details because uh, I hope you are already expert in that area. Then uh, I want to show you multiple options I have created within the tools. There are four different options. One is with delimited and uh, you know with delimited one for directly use EAB and one for use on the you know document transformation and fixed width directly to be used on XSLD and uh, fixed width. Uh, to be used on document transformation with XTT. And then there's a three minute challenge where I'm going to create uh, integration, create EAB, uh, plug that EAB into the integration, uh, you know, create a business process and run the integration. So all these things within three minutes. So let's, let's go into the details. So this is a sample report. This sample report just has five employees, you know, uh, employee ID, employee name, first name, last name, higher data, and business data. That's it. And these are the uh, XML alias, right? So uh, for this tool, right, what I'm going to suggest, you can use this download to Excel uh, option here so that your work will be a bit minimal, right? So what I did, right? I've downloaded this table into Excel and and I have populated the same thing here in this first two columns, right? And then I'll give what is the length it's needed, what is that uh, you know specifications, what is that vendor needs or what is the downstream system needs, uh, what is that uh, length? So this is for the fixed length, fixed length, and I'm going to show a different. Uh, tool. I'm not going to the details, but I'll just show you that uh, without fixed length. It's like with delimited, any delimited. It's like type delimited, comma delimited, or anything uh, for that matter. 
right? So the first step is download that and put that uh, field name and XML alias here and give the length, right? And just refresh, refresh all. That's it. You have your code almost ready. All you have to do is just replace uh, two uh, special characters and you'll be good to go. So you're pasting into a, a text editor. In this case, I'm using Notepad++. First replace is replace double quotes with nothing. Second replace is replace tilde with double quotes. That's it. You have your code ready, right? This is a code you can just use it. So, and I just want to mention here is that I have added comments uh, automatically created, right? This is automatically created by the by this tool itself. Uh, it will have the field name, XML alias, and position, starting and ending. That is like, you know, position one, it starts and ends at position 10, and length is 10, so like that. So it will be very, very helpful, uh, especially, especially if you are into the support uh, mode and you had to uh, troubleshoot so you have 100 columns or 200 columns or 300 columns and you have to troubleshoot but this position is uh, giving issue so what is that if you go to that position what is that field what is that xml alias and all these things will be very very helpful so that's about it i have given two templates one template is for delimiter and one one template is for fixed width in each template, right, it creates two different kinds of uh, outputs. One is regular XSLD, that is like you can directly use on EIB. And other one is uh, with DTT, which can be used on document transformation. So uh, I'm going to demonstrate in the next slide. So these are the two uh, templates. First template is for delimited. So the template, this template creates two files, two uh, kinds of files one is a regular XSLD and second is second one is XTT uh, which can be used on document transformation so this is for delimited template right and I'm going to show you the fixed width one so this is a fixed width file so the left one is a regular XSLD and the right one is document transformation with XTT so the the instructions uh, are given here, uh, you know, here and here. So you just follow this instruction and you should be good to go. So I'm going to demonstrate how to use this tool uh, and then I'm going to go over the three minutes challenge. Okay. Hey, so for this demonstration, I'm going to use a very simple report um, with just five columns and I have limited only for nine employees, right? So I'm going to uh, run this. So this is output. The task at hand is to convert this into a fixed width file format using a uh, EAB integration, right? So, so this is this is the task at hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this uh, in our report definition, uh, you know, so that I can get the field name and uh, XML alias into an Excel, and I'm going to update this tool. This tool. So this is the tool I am referring to. So first, first step is I'm going to copy these and update here these two things. Then uh, I'm going to define like a employee ID is 10 and first name is 20. 20, let's just say, and then this is 10, and then this is let's just say 40, right? All I have to do is go here in this data tab, click refresh all. See, this is almost done. All we have to do is take this, go to the notepad, plus plus, and then replace double quotes with nothing. Replace all tilde with double quotes. Replace all. See, you have your XSLD ready. Right? So it's not showing the colors. So, yeah. So this is how it looks. Yeah. 
formatted into the XSLD format and all those things, right? So all you have to do is just take this into and plug it into your uh, EIB. That's it. Now it's a three minute challenge. I'm going to use this report with 21 columns and I'm going to create a EIB, a DT, and I'm going to add the DT to the EIB using the business process and uh, create the XSLT and then uh, run it. So everything will be done within three minutes. So the time starts now. So this is a tool. I'm going to place this here and click refresh all. The code is almost ready. I'm going to take a new file. Control has double quotes with nothing. Replace all tilde with double quotes. Replace all. Copy it into now save this file XSLT DT three minute challenge dot XSLT. Okay, then go to the online create integration systems. And x uh, int 0x dt for pass 1 document transformation. Click OK and view the attachment service, create integration, attachment service. The next challenge, click OK, click OK, and your DT almost ready. And then create EIB on DD0X pass uh, 1 outbound. Next, this is X and then no transformation, then generally I'll give 180. Then file name is uh, output XML dot XML. Okay, click next. Then we are almost done. Click OK. Then I'm going to create a business process. Then I'm going to add uh, step C integration. Click OK. And configure this one. Then click OK. And that's it. Exactly three minutes. Okay, I'm going to deploy and I'm going to run and I'll show you. So the integration is completed within one second. And if you go to the parent event, so, <clears throat> so I have downloaded this file to the local machine and I have written this with txt and this is the output. This is the output generated by the DT. So that's it from my side. Um, happy coding. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.